and welcome. Just a while back, I had provided this video about this progress bar that was using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, there are lots of guys that are using React and want to convert this and have it as a component they can use on their in order to do so, I would go to Code Sandbox and I'm creating a React TypeScript called this then circular like so and we have our sandbox here okay let's define a folder here called progress and in here we would have a progress.tsx we would have some style for it so progress.css and uh, some hook to have the functionality there so use progress.ts great these styles i will not cover they are the same as i have here so if you want to know how they are working just go to the video that is highlighted here and see how it's done so i would grab these two and uh, go here into the css and paste them let's go to the progress part uh, at first i would define the type so this will just get a value that is a number and nothing more then this component is a progress bar like so with the value of type props and the thing that it returns is again this so like this and this is class name data value is the value that we have here now let's export it and I need to import react so this error goes away now let's go to the not index but the app.tsx and let's remove these two parts from here and have a progress with the value of uh, let's say 20 like so I need to import it here as well so import progress here in the progress I forgot to import my styles so that's why I cannot see anything here and it's like CSS and we can see the progress bar so if I go here and say like 50 okay now it's updated but as you can see this part is not working uh, because in the progress we need to update this value using JavaScript so let's write our JavaScript section to update this chunk as well so here uh, I would have a use effect to do the update and the use effect will be like this and it will be dependent on the value because whenever the value changes I want the progress to change as well and I want to reference to this so I need to say ref is this and define the ref here so like so and we can say this is null in the beginning here I would say if there is no ref so if not ref dot current then return otherwise we need to do two things so ref set property and it's not value it's just the progress and it will be the uh, value plus this and the other one would be ref dot current dot set attribute and data value is the value 
and let's convert this to string as well and now this is working so if I go here and say this is like 30 and save this will be 30 great but uh, I would just want to have this inside a hook so I would go here and say it would take a value of type number I would have this and in the end I would just return the ref like so and let's fix this one as well great so I have my custom hook let's go here and use it so here I can say grab the ref that I'm returning here so ref from the use progress and I need to send the value need to import it as well so import use progress from here it doesn't have any export so let's go and export it here export default use progress as you can see this is working now if I go here and update this to like 10 and save it's working so let's have like multiple of these here in the app I would define a few values so let's say like values and then set values use state like this and uh, these are fine let's keep three of them with different values 10 and then 13 and then 32 okay use state needs to be imported yes and then map them down here so values dot map each value this progress and let's give it some key here as well key is key right now I have three different progress bars and as you know we can update them quite easily so let's have a button with the on click which will be let's say on update function and let's say it would update them need to define the function so const on update we would set the values to some random values let's say values dot map then each value to be a random number so math exactly this and I don't need to have this here so I can just have it like this now as you can see I can update them all together so yeah this is about this I'm using just a progress bar here with all the functionality in the hook that I am having here and uh, I'm just using it down here so yeah I hope you've enjoyed the video the link to this code sandbox and also to this code pen which is the JavaScript version of the same thing will be in the description if you enjoyed the video please provide a like or comment or even subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video